Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. You know that we are discussing series 2 where we are learning a great deal about triangles. Friends, today is episode number 7 and today we are going to learn that in any triangle if a line divides the other two sides other two sides in the same ratio then that line must be parallel to the third side. So friends, as you recall in the last video of episode number 6 we have talked about a very very important theorem and what was that theorem? That theorem was basically the opposite of this one so we just want to very briefly explain that. In any triangle if a line is drawn parallel to one side that intersects the other two sides at two distinct points then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. So this is what we had learnt in our webisode number 6 which is the last webisode. So if you were to take a triangle ABC and if we were to draw a line DE and the line DE is drawn with the only criteria that DE is parallel to BC. So we have a triangle ABC and we have drawn a line DE which is parallel to side BC. If we have drawn this then what the theorem, this is the theorem we learnt in great detail in the last episode, what this theorem is telling us that the point D and the point E divides the line, the side AB and side AC respectively in the same ratio. So how does the point D divide the line AB? In what ratio? Well, it simply divides it in this ratio which is AD by BD right? You have a line AB and there is a point D. So it divides the line in AD and DB. So this is the ratio, right? So this ratio, what the theorem was telling us is this ratio must be equal to the ratio in which the point E divides the side AC, which will be AE divided by CE. So if I draw a line parallel DE parallel to BC and I take a ruler and measure these four lengths AD, BD, AE and CE I will see that this ratio is absolutely true. So friends this is what we had learnt in the last video and as you can imagine this is exactly the opposite of what we are trying to prove in today's video. So here what we are trying to do is let's understand what the theorem is telling us. So in any triangle if a line divides any two sides in the same ratio. So here we are given a line that divides other, other two sides in the same ratio. Then we need to, the theorem is telling us then that line must be parallel to the third side. So let us draw a simple triangle ABC and let us draw a line DE. So in this case what is given to us is that the way we have drawn this line DE is such that AD divided by BD that is this ratio must be the same as AE divided by CE. So I have got this line DE drawn in such a way that AD by BD is equal to AE by CE. If this is how I draw my line, then what this theorem is telling us is it absolutely implies that this side is parallel to this side. That is the side DE, the line DE, I should say the line, not the side. The line DE is parallel to the side BC. So friends, this is what this theorem is telling us. As you can see, this is exactly the opposite of the last theorem. And like we said in the episode 6, that that theorem is absolutely very very important and so is this theorem. So now that we understand what the theorem is telling us, let's find out how can we prove it. So we start out with our triangle ABC and we have got our uh, our line DE. So what do we, what is that which is given to us? What is given to us in this case is AD divided by BD is actually equal to AE divided by CE. This is what is given to us. Right? 
So let's call this our first condition, which our first equation that we know. Now, for a moment, think that this line is not parallel to BC. Obviously, if you look at the line, it looks like this is parallel to BC. But remember, we are trying to prove that this line is indeed actually parallel to BC, right? That is what we are trying to prove. So let us, let's just hypothetically think that this line is not parallel to BC and that we can draw somehow another line in this triangle which will be parallel to BC. So what we can do is, so we can, if we start with point D, right, then we can find a point on the line AC such that that line, if you were to draw some line like this way or that way, that that line will actually be parallel to BC. So let's do one thing. Let's draw that line. It will be just easier. So we have hypothetically picked a point E dash on side AC such that D E dash is parallel to BC. So by construction what we have is that D E dash is parallel to BC. That is what is our construction by construction, right? Now, if this is true, so friends, one thing I wanted to just highlight before we go forward is I could have actually started at point E and have picked a point on side AB such that E D dash could be parallel to BC. So it doesn't matter which point you start and how you draw the line. The idea is that if you have a line like this, right, and if you have a point here, if you know that this line, right, is not parallel. So think this way. I have BC here and this is my point D, right? So from point D, there is only one way I can draw a line parallel to BC, right? So from point D, there will be only one way I can draw a line which is parallel to BC. So in this case, in this case, if my DE is not parallel, then I can draw only one line DE dash which is parallel to BC. So similarly, if I would have started from point E, again from point E, there is only one way I can draw a line parallel to BC. So anyhow, so we st started off with point D. So e, DE dash is our line which is parallel to BC. Now recall from our last theorem, if so if you look at triangle ABC and I have DE dash parallel to BC. So it means then AD by BD, it means that AD by BD must be equal to AE dash, right, divided by CE dash. Why? Because that is what we have learned in our last webisode, that if you look at triangle ABC, D E dash is parallel to B C, right, by construction. So then D E dash divides A B and A C in the same ratio. So A D by B D must be equal to A E dash by C E dash. But if you compare equation 1 and equation 2, what you have is, you have A D by B D as the left hand side on both cases. So A D by B D equals A, A E by C E and AD by B is equals AE dash by CE dash. So it means that these two must be equal. It means that AE by CE, which is this side. I mean, you can write it like this. So this is equal to AD by BD, right? And AD by BD is equal to this. So you can say this is equal to so I can, from equation 1 and 2, I can write it this way, right? And because these three are all equal, so this implies I can write A, AC by C is equal to this. So I can write AE by CE by CE equal to AE dash divided by CE dash. Now, so what I have is I have this. I have got this ratio is true. 
So let us understand what this is telling us. So AE divided by CE is same as AE dash divided by CE dash. Now friends, when can this be true? If you think for a moment, you will realize that the ratio AE divided by CE, for this ratio to be equal to AE dash divided by CE dash, the only way this can be true is if this point E dash actually coincides with the point E. That means this implies that E dash and E are the same point. And remember by our construction, we constructed DE dash such that that is parallel to BC. And now that E dash and E are same points, it means that indeed DE is parallel to BC. So friends, this is how we prove it. Now let us just write it a little bit more cleanly. So we have our line drawn the way we just discussed, right? So here, what we will do is that in triangle, let's see. So we always start out with what is given to us. So in a triangle, we have a triangle AB and D is any point on BC and C is any point on AC. Actually, this should be point E. E is any point on CE such that AD by BD is equal to AE by CE as shown in the figure, right? We need to prove. So after we have stated what is given, then we write what we have to prove. So we have to prove D is parallel to BC. So since D is not parallel to BC, we can find, find a point, say E dash on AC such that D E dash is parallel to BC like we discussed, then we join them, right? Now in the triangle ABC, D E dash is parallel to BC. So these ratios must be same. This is coming from a theorem and we are calling this a first equation. Next, but it is given that AD by BD is equal to AE by AC, right? Because this is given. Actually, if we say this is 1, we can say this is 2, right? So, from 1 and 2, we can say that these two ratios must be same, right? Because AD by BD is common on both sides. So, this ratio, what we have, must be the same as this ratio. So, these two ratios must be same, which basically means E and E dash are one and the same point. So, if, if by construction this was parallel to this, and if these two points are the same, it means that DE is indeed parallel to BC. So, friends, this concludes our, the proof of this theorem, which is exactly the opposite of the last theorem. So, for episode 6 and for episode 7, these two theorems, friends, are extremely important. When, and you will see lots of questions that come up on the tests and exams which in where you would need to apply these th these two theorems. So friends, in the next video, we will, or the next episode, we will try and look at some of these applications of these theorems.